International observers have concluded the deadly shelling of a passenger bus in eastern Ukraine came from a different direction. Russia says that that rebuts previous accusations made by Kiev. We can get more on this now from Artis Roman Kosherev, who joins us live from the region. Roman, so what exactly are the conclusions the observers have come to? Well, the observers that we're talking about are from the OSCE mission who are monitoring the conflict here in the east of Ukraine. And uh, they have uh, now concluded after a very thorough investigation that the blast actually uh, came from the uh, uh, north, north, uh, eastern uh, side uh, uh, from uh, where the crater was uh, located. And uh, that, of course, uh, rebuffs all the uh, previous statements uh, that, uh, uh, that were presented to the public uh, earlier. Now, according to the Russian representative of the uh, special mission of the uh, OSCE, um, uh, he is saying that uh, uh, according to the newest information, uh, the, uh, the, the the blast that, that was uh, previously blamed on the um, uh, self-defense forces here in the east of Ukraine, that's apparently uh, not uh, true right now. And now we everybody needs to take time and to investigate this uh, incident uh, further. Let me remind you that uh, 12 people have died as a result of the blast uh, uh, that, uh, that hit the bus and 17 people had been injured. And this happens amid an ongoing battle for control of Donetsk airport. We've heard, we've heard both sides claiming that they have the upper hand in this conflict. Uh, what's the latest information? Well, I went to the uh, Donetsk airport uh, earlier in the day on uh, Saturday and uh, the fighting was still going on there. However, the uh, so-called self-defense forces have uh, assured me that uh, they have uh, taken control uh, of the airport and I've seen that with my own eyes as well. However, uh, Kyiv, uh, officials in Kyiv are saying that uh, they're controlling the airport and of course, uh, very different information. However, I've seen it with my own own eyes. However, the uh, fighting is still continuing here uh, in the Donetsk region and uh, shells are still landing uh, in the city. I was at uh, the uh, emergencies ministry station today and uh, they were hit. So uh, 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 administrative and uh, civilian areas are still being uh, targeted here as uh, the fighting continues and actually escalated in the last 24 hours. So they have it first hand confirmation of uh, the latest events in Donetsk. That's our correspondent, Roman Kosher. Thank you.